I know. I promised you an eye tutorial and I'm working on that. But these tutorials are really tiring and your girl needed a break. So I made the mistake to pick one of these dorky Christmas movies, the ones that people wear only red and green and everything is super happy but there is a problem which is not a real life problem. I picked 12 wishes of Christmas. The trailer said All Anna wanted was to be an artist. Christmas? Struggling artist? Okay, hit me. I was really happy that we finally have some representation because artists are not so represented in movies. I was really looking forward to see how Netflix will show a struggling artist. 20 minutes into this, I know that I have to show it to you because it was ridiculous. Let's start from the beginning. This is Anna and she's our main character struggling artists who have the secret talent of giving the best gift ideas to people. Today she has an appointment for meeting in this very cool gallery, excuse me, Museum of Fine Arts, and she is looking to open her first gallery show. By the way, that's her car. I'm not much of a car person, but for struggling artists she has quite nice right. Can I volunteer to be a struggling artist in a Netflix movie, but not in real life? The major lady gives her half butt greeting because she's busy enjoying some fine dear art, I guess, and begins questioning her without even looking at her. The disrespect. But our girl has all kinds of degrees in fine arts and work experience, but boy, does she have a manager. I brought some of my work. The Hope Gallery is a place for serious artists. No offense. Okay, lady, why you even invite her? Couldn't you just send a mail to her and be like, hey, who is your manager? Who represents you? No, come to an interview in this specific date and hour and we won't even look at you or your work or your face. We will but greet you and say that you suck because you don't have an agent. Write me in the comments if this is a real life. Then she meet the other main character, the regular nice guy. You know, the one that looks in his mid-twenties, but is already in top three of busiest, busy businessmen. So this... Uh, wait, let me go. So Mark works in advertisement agency, which you have to remember for later. Look at him, proud of his stuff, eating cake instead of working. I'm gonna fire you all. The cake is not chocolate, which is a bit disappointing and some people decide to fake eating it. Yeah, I get that. In the meantime, Anna is back home and is ranting to her sister about the whole art museum fiasco. And her sister is like, hey girl, why don't you show them your other stuff? The Christmas stuff. And Anna is like, shut up sis, that's not art. But those aren't art. Those are just paintings that I do for fun. They're illustrations. They're illustrations. I'm close. I know I am. Well... Now it's time for the movie to turn into weird horror. With this creepy shot of Anna working on her latest piece. Yeah. By the way, she complains that she lives in her sister's basement. But it looks nothing like a basement, to be honest. And it has more Christmas decoration than a mall. I don't think that my video has enough Christmas decoration for the level of decoration that is in this movie. So, I have to fix that. Amazing. I wanted to see a sneak peek of her creative process, of her painting, but in typical movie logic, we will see her only signing this random painting so we know it's her own. Yeah, that's enough for me to believe her, sure. Also, this painting looks suspiciously flat and dry. You know, when you draw on canvas with oils, there are at least some texture from the layering of the paint, and this looks more like a printed canvas. But I don't have enough experience with canvas paintings, so you tell me in the comments if this is a print or Anna actually did that. Santa Claus. 
Also, you gotta love how in the movies artists are always with clothes that are with big splashes of paint, even though sometimes the splashes are really ridiculous. In this case, Anna has splashes of white paint on her back. Sometimes you gotta paint and you just go really deep in the painting and you just splash yourself with paint all over. <laughs> So she decides that art have to wait and she can try to be a personal shopper. Entering the ugliest business cards in the history. Another horrendous crime in the graphic design world. First of all, use a font that people can, I don't know, read, easy. Second of all, align the text. I mean, oh, what are these empty spaces? Don't use three fonts. Why? Three. You don't give your mail but you're giving your personal number. Then the advertisement boss man, Mark, Mark, yes, uh, he sees the marvelous card uh, and decides to call Anna and a meeting is arranged. And I was wrong because the movie is brave enough to show us Anna in action, actually painting on the edge of the canvas, two aggressive strokes. They meet, which is so not an artist thing to do. Go ahead and ask an artist to go on a broad daylight amongst humans and to go on and interact with clients in person? <laughs> I guess this movie is playing a bit with the fantasy element. So Mark hires Anna to be his shopper by giving her his credit card and leaving her? No agreement, no contract to sign, nothing. I wonder if that will backfire later in the movie. Oh, it did. That's not what I asked you to do. Don't worry, Anna. I trust you. I just need some time to think about it, okay? Mm-hmm. So he doesn't like her gift and fires her. And they are back home. She's playing with her nieces and he's working with some Chinese food. I know that the movie is about her and she's the struggling artist. But in these two scenes, I can relate with him on the computer, working drawing non-stop. You know, this Christmas my dog had to decorate the Christmas tree because I was too busy answering mails and drawing. And she has time to play with her nieces? The last time I played with anything was in 2014. I'm struggling to understand the struggle of Anna, seriously. <laughs> Our boy Mark decides that he can't do the shopping alone and he needs Anna. He calls her again because for these guys mail was never an option. And they meet. Mark doesn't know what his employees may need. So he decides that Anna should infiltrate the office Christmas party to see what his team wants for Christmas. Hmm. Hey Mark, I can help you a bit. Can you try with something simple like money bonus? Something including money and free time. And yeah, I said party and we will need a makeover scene. Wait, aren't we supposed to be struggling artists? Oh. She's already on the second dress. Okay. Well, at least she's a painter. I'm expecting something exciting, something super bold and abstract. You know, the dress that shows her creative side, some bright colors. Oh, oh okay. Hmm. Also, are they partying at the lobby of the building? Go upstairs, people. I don't get it. But then again, I was never invited to a corporate party, so you tell me. Oh, let me just, uh, just... You might look like you're about to go to a pitch meeting or something. Oh, it's just... it's just the way I like it. Do you ever relax? Yeah, with that loose tie, he looks like a party animal now. Wait, who is this? Who is that woman and why is she wearing that dress? I mean, this is basically the dress of the movie and... Anna is rocking the funeral dress. What the hell? So the digging for information about the Christmas presents begins. Are you doing anything special for the holidays? Just spending time with the family. My son says I work too much sometimes. Cindy, your Christmas present is that you're fired. So you have a lot of free time to play with your son. My mother-in-law is visiting. Oh, you don't sound thrilled. No. Susan, we're sending your mother-in-law to a uh, Vacation. Yes, let's say it's vacation. Happy holidays. What did the gingerbread man put on his bed? A cookie sheet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
a book with jokes for that one. Are you ready for the big reveal? Anna is about to say her ideas for the employees' gifts. He should give as a present to his team some time off work for Christmas. Fully paid. Well, money well spent, Mark. What about the big client and your boss with the constant visits and nagging? Mark, Mark I know. Cheers. Mark, you're going to be the struggling one by the end of the movie. Believe me, I know. Mark? Our girl has two paychecks right now. What are we going to do? Yes, a shopping spree and then let's hunt for apartment. Hmm. What are these two paychecks? I mean, for a million dollar each? It's nothing fancy. It's nothing fancy? Are you kidding me, man? It's nothing fancy. I mean, what? This apartment looks really expensive and I don't know about the two paychecks, but Anna is really brave or really stupid. I don't know. We will see. I'm rooting for her. She's a struggling artist. Or she was. In the meantime, Mark is working for chronic headaches and receding hairline because of the stress with his big client. <sighs> Gather around my freelance people because the real villain of the movie is about to show. You know, the one client who wants something amazing. Timeless. Timeless. Special. Special. Lady, you're selling laptops, not Fabergé eggs. Calm yourself. Yes, we've all been there. The client that wants something special and magical and I don't know what, but every time you show them something, they don't like it. And of course, they want everything to be ready just on time in three days. I mean, do the most amazing thing that you can in three days. And these three days to be holidays for the entire world. Yes. Now this is real life and this is struggling artist. Call me when you have something. It's always a pleasure. Do you yeah. care? Well, you know what, lady, in the end of the movie, you will get something exciting. <sighs> but fuck this shit, let's go meet Anna, eat muffins with forks and spend money on fake Christmas trees. I'm so confused by this movie, but I know one thing. He's not busy and she's not struggling. So Mars decides to go and visit Anna. Who is it? He sees her painting and after seeing this, he decides to compliment the Santa one. Did you paint this? <laughs> it's really good. Look at the detail. Well, I'm trying not to because that crusty paper he's reading from is like a hundred year old papyrus which doesn't bend and the chair... It's incredible. Ooh, the best moment of the movie is about to begin. I'm so excited. But before that, the annoying kids are amazed by Mark's house. Whoa. You can fit our house into this house a hundred times. I don't know about that. Maybe 50? Okay. <laughs> the house that they live in is just slightly smaller and has a freaking fireplace in the basement. Now she meets his family and I just love how the father is so unbothered by everything. Running kids, talking wife, but then the magic word is said. So a really talented artist. 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 <laughs> Look at their faces. Oh, she's an artist. How wonderful. John, fetch me the whiskey, can you? And now, the moment I've never wanted to experience, but here we are, and it's amazing. The family portrait. That is the last time the whole family sat for a portrait. Uh. Uh, don't look at that. Okay. But you look so cute. <laughs> Even he knows how off that portrait is. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Now is the time to say you to subscribe to the channel, but can you? So the father's face is in totally different direction than his body. The two kids, the girl is okay. She is the only thing that looks like human. The boy, aka our poor Mark, it's like they stretched a face over his actual face. And as for the mom, 
Her face looks like it's floating away and tries to hide behind her bangs. Hmm. I'm opening Photoshop to fix this mess, if I can, if this is savable. The person who did that was either unaware of Photoshop or very aware of Photoshop, but was plotting some kind of revenge against the movie, or I don't know, this was on purpose, so it becomes a meme and makes the movie famous for being a meme. <laughs> I need to know, seriously. We are back with the grumpy client with the special, special commission. Stop trying to sell. Lady, why are you hiring advertisement agency then? Find me something to feel. But Mark has a plan. You remember when I said to you that he has an advertisement company? So, he should know how an ad campaign works. From the first draft ideas, plans, sketches, photography, videos, etc. Okay, now get this. He goes to Anna's sister, not Anna, but Anna's sister, and asks her to go to the basement and get him the Anna's Santa Claus painting. You know, the one with the details. details. And then he uses Anna's painting without the knowledge of Anna and alters it as if Santa Claus is holding a laptop. <laughs> I can't. Let's see what we have here. Stealing artist's original work. Using it for commercial project. The advertisement campaign. No credit or money for the artist. And for a client that agrees to this mess off screen, which is not a judgment, but seriously, that was the timeless Endless. and special, special art you were looking for. A Santa with a laptop. This movie is amazing. And then what can you do? Oh yeah, go to the artist and be like, hey, yo, you know, that painting you spent hours on, well, I slapped a laptop on it. Now it's amazing. Santa Claus is a tech guy now. Do you know how hard I've worked to get people to take me seriously as an artist? This is taking you seriously. In the end, everybody is happy. Anna is back together with Mark. They will kiss in his mother's house. The father won't care again. And they will live happily ever after. And she says big f*** you to contemporary art. And hello to Christmas paintings, which is great. I mean, do what makes you happy, which is apparently Christmas art, which is a bit niche. Maybe she have to start drawing for Easter and, I don't know, Patrick's Day as well. Anyway, the movie won't end without one more painting and I'm delighted to see that it's another kind of craziness. So, Anna gift to the family is a new family portrait. Should I tell them that this is a photo with a filter on or leave it like that? Can I say that I was entertained? Yes. Was it realistic? No. This wasn't a story about a struggling artist. A bit of advice. If you are struggling that much, Anna, sell your car. I don't even own a bike. But we learned an important lesson. You can always satisfy a tough client with some Santa Claus art. I'm wishing you all Happy Christmas. If I manage to upload this before the Christmas celebration ends. Thank you for watching this with me and I will see you next time and I promise it will be a tutorial or maybe it won't be. I don't know, this channel is a mess. I've warned you about that. I need something timeless, special. Of course.